Hey everybody, it is Thursday, which means it's almost Friday. Yay, we're so excited. But I wanted to come in and do a scope with you guys today about how we save money. We are on a one income family here because I stay home with our four wonderful babies. And the only way that we have been able to do this is by being smart. And by being smart, I mean you women are in charge primarily you're finding this of saving money, spending money, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I had a friend who once said if you're not taking good care of your husband's money, then is he really are you showing him that he's doing a good enough job? So I have made it my priority um especially this last 2 months on how can I save money so we can spend money on the things that we really like to do or need to do come that time. So again, my name is Amber. I'm from honestfamilyliving.com or you can look us up on Honest Family Living on Facebook to find out more about who we are. Um, what we do in our family is we, we try to eat as healthy as we can. So that would include um, organic food. We're not all the way there. We haven't arrived. We're just trying to do the best that we can. Um, we grow a portion of our food so it does definitely cut it that definitely cuts down on our grocery bill more than anything is being able to grow your own food if you guys can start even a micro garden on your back deck do it it's gonna it's going to save you a lot more money than you think it would um, I shop uh, once every two weeks so my husband gets paid on Friday so that's that's really our day to go out in town obviously we live in very rural country out here so uh, the least amount of time that we can get out, I just heard this from a woman today that we watched on her scope, the least amount of time that you can get out and not spend gas on going to the store, period. Walking into the doors of the store, you are going to save yourself some money. So I've been a really large advocate for Walmart and uh, Sam's Club. I grew up in... Um, in Tacoma and in Washington and we would never have shopped at anywhere like this so this is kind of a big thing for us that we're using a big box store and not necessarily supporting uh, the lo the smaller stores but for convenience and for time that is what we are paying for here so you make it work this is what we're doing we're making it work with the big box store and it's working for us so again we we shop at Walmart and at Sam's Club um, a lot of people they have said that they have they've there, I say I'm saving so much money with Aldi. I wish I could do Aldi. I wish I could. I my hat is off to you guys who can do Aldi. My four kids won't let me do Aldi right now. <laughs> so right now, what's working for us is again Walmart and Sam's Club. They have applications that you can download on your phone. You should do it today. Just try it out. You make you register. Yes, online ordering is where it's at. We have downloaded the apps for both of those places. Um, you select a location that would work for you. And so we have selected a location where Sam's Club and Walmart are literally right next to each other. So for those of you who wanted to know, I still haven't gotten a manicure. This needs to happen soon. Anyways, they are right next to each other. So we literally are doing a one-stop shopping. We pull into one place. We let them know that we are coming. So for Walmart, we have their number on speed dial 10 minutes before we arrive we let them know that they're coming and what they do for this family of six is they literally bring the groceries out to your car and they even load them for you so this is big for us for our big family and this is what's working for us we're in a very raw time of our life and it's very beautiful so we're very grateful that they're able to help us at Walmart from there um, Sam's Club is then notified I just found this out you can turn on your you can turn on the application mode through Sam's Club application and it will let them know through your browser that you are close and they will then get the order ready for you. Once you go to Sam's Club, it will say pick up line. This is an area that you can park literally right next to there and you can leave your car there and this is when the only time that we as a family of five are getting out of the car and bringing the kids in you literally go and you scan your card and you go to the first line to pick up the the food that you have ordered how do i order my food 
You order your food simply through the applications on Walmart or Sam's Club. I really should be their spokesmodel for them. I'm really giving them a lot of good tips here. So that's what we do. Anytime that I run out of something, we are big black bean brownie fans. So we use a lot of black beans. Um, organic happens to have a really great line of cheap organic food, you guys. It's, it's not like it used to be. For those of you who used to look at Walmart and say, you know, I'm really trying to eat a little bit better, but there's not really many, too many options here. There are a lot more options. We are really, really satisfied with their organic line. So if I'm out of the black bean brownies, all I have to do is go on to the Walmart shopping app. It's orange with a grocery bag on it. And you're just literally going to add it to your cart. At the time of pickup, all you have to do is you would just download all of your items that are already put into your cart. And then you would pick a time area, a time slot that worked for you. Ours happens to work very, very early. So we can literally just wake the kids up and put them in the car and then go to our one-stop shopping since they're side by side. I think everybody should try it. How do I do my meal planning? Well, what I do is, this is a rough draft because I wasn't able to print mine off today, but I literally write down everything I have, everything. I go through every single freezer. I go through every single fridge. I go through the pantries. I go through the cupboards and I write down uh, today I wrote down what I have and what I can work with for the next two weeks. So I'm meal planning for two weeks. Then from there, it's so easy, my eight-year-old can do this. So you guys can do this. You can. So I will put a mark by, for instance, syrup. Sam's Club has got great real syrup. I know that we're probably going to go through about one of those for the next two weeks. So we only have a half of a bottle. So I'm teaching our firstborn, this is part of homeschooling, to delegate what we need and what we don't need. Oh, mom, looks like we've got half a bottle of syrup. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this on our list that this is something that we need. She's gonna tell me how much we have and how much we need. So from there, this is all on paper today. Normally this is printed off on the computer. Again, the printer wasn't working. I'm going to put breakfast, lunch, dinner. We snack twice a day. I would love not to snack twice a day, but our kids are very, very tiny. So with those tiny stomachs, we have a very quick turnover. Smaller meals, smaller snacks, it keeps them going. Everybody's happy. You do what works for you. So for instance, we have got Monday, this next coming up Monday, I've got cereal winning for breakfast with cereal. Um, for breakfast, for a snack, we're gonna make muffins. For lunch, we are going to have boiled eggs with fruit and some veggies. And then for dinner, it's meatloaf Monday. Another thing with my meal planning, keep it simple. Do the same thing every week, maybe try a new recipe. But for instance, Mondays are normally meatloaf Monday. Tuesdays are normally taco Tuesday. What, what? Wednesdays are normally breakfast for dinner. Thursdays are beef tip and noodles. Just keep revolving certain type of recipes that work for you and for your family, especially if you're cooking for little ones. You're going to want to keep those in an archive. How do I keep my archive? I wish I was as diligent as writing all my recipes down. Again, very sensitive time. We have a 12 week old, so it's a little bit harder to write things down, even balancing your checkbook sometimes. So what we do is we use Pinterest. It's Again, everything is on one phone. Everything is on apps that you can delegate in between. So we go to Pinterest a lot and I keep everything on one board and I just swap back and forth with recipes. If my husband really didn't like one recipe, guess what, it's gotta go. Um, if the kids really liked one recipe but the other one didn't, didn't like it so much, then we'll kind of tell the husband, guess what, I picked up some hot sauce for you keep the hot sauce around if your husband likes spicy food or salsa. Just keep it stocked because a lot of times when you're cooking for kids, you really can't add too much flavor and that's okay. Keep the salsa stocked. So this has been really great for us. Um, we have saved, as we have been doing this diligently now with planning out breakfast, lunch, dinner, two snacks. As I have done that now, consecutively, I would say about give or take three or four months. Um, in the last two months, we've been able to save $520. I can't hear you, but I hope that you're clapping because this is huge. Um, as we have been able to save money, put it back into savings, not have to live paycheck to paycheck on one income. You guys can do this. So again, thank you for the
to clap. We use the Walmart and Sam's Club application. If you have written everything down, bonjour, everything down from your freezers and from your fridge and from your pantry, but let's say you really don't have too much money for the next two weeks to plan out a meal plan like I'm doing. What you can do is, I just looked this up, you can go onto an app, it's called, oh, I just lost it. Well, I, I lost it. Google, items in your fridge that you can make. You tell this application what you have in your fridge, it's literally going to spit back out a recipe for you just to use the items that you have. If it's one of those tight months or maybe you want it to be a tight month, maybe you need to save up to buy a new car or to pay off that mortgage or to pay off those student loans or a healthcare bill. Maybe this is something that you need to do. Facilitate those rice and beans. Use your crock pot, get fancy with it. This is what has worked for us. I hope this works for you guys. Just try it for two months. Again, some people don't like Walmart and Sam's Club. I was there. Now I love it. Now I'm their spokesmodel through Periscope telling them what works for us. Epicurious is the app. E-P-I Curious. That's the application. There you go. So the only way that it's going to work for you though is if you are honest with yourself. How much do you guys normally eat? Do we need to look at portion control? Do we need to look at what we're eating? Do we need to look at see what's going to keep us fuller longer? Do we need to incorporate more protein, more good fats. Um, maybe that's something to look at too if you guys find out that you're, man, we're really having to eat a lot. What did we eat today? Oh, we had bread and cereal. Well, those things really are not going to keep us full for that long. So that's going into an indifferent, that's going into a different periscope. We'll keep that for a different periscope. But again, you can check out more about our family. I'm Amber from Honest Family Living. Um, I hope that this works for you guys. This has worked great for us. Write down everything that you're using. Include the snacks. Do it for two weeks. Don't shop more than one week if you can. I know the fresh produce is really hard. So, but when if you do go, um, try out their services where they can bring it out to your car or do the shopping for you. I'm telling you, the only reason why we have been able to save $520 in two months is because Mama Bear who couldn't keep herself accountable, didn't walk through those two doors of those stores and say, we need pencil, we need 500 pencils. All of a sudden we need a new microwave and throw pillows. You don't need that. You got throw pillows. Your microwave's just fine, okay? Those pencils you need about two a year. You're good. Sharpen, sharpen, sharpen. We just have to be honest with ourselves that we do not need to be consumers anymore. Don't consume, just buy what you need. And the only way to keep yourself accountable cicadas is by writing down what you need and how often you're going to use it. Okay, there's my sign out. I'm actually going to my sign out. I'm Amber from Honest Family Living. Check us out on our Facebook page, Honest Family Living, and you will find us. Follow us for more options there. Have a good day. Friday's almost here. Yay. Bye-bye.